In this video, I want to talk about the 1970 Mr. Olympia competition. I think it's a very important Mr. Olympia for several reasons. But before we look specifically at 1970, we've got to look at some of the Mr. Olympia competitions prior to that to get some context for the 1970 Mr. Olympia. So 1969, that was the first year that Arnold Schwarzenegger competed at the Olympia. And it was really the initial beginning of the rivalry between Arnold and Sergio Oliva Sr. So in 1969, Sergio Oliva won his third and final Mr. Olympia title, defeating Arnold Schwarzenegger, making him one of only three men to ever defeat Arnold Schwarzenegger on a bodybuilding stage. Sergio Oliva, Frank Zane, and of course, Chet Yorton are the three men to have defeated Arnold on a bodybuilding stage. So the reason why that gives some context in 1970 is 1970 at the Olympia, Arnold and Sergio would go head to head again, but this time the result would be different. Uh, but we got to go to another competition in 1970 before we focus on the 1970 Mr. Olympia. And this was a competition prior to the 1970 Olympia where Arnold and Sergio went head to head. And that was the 1970 Mr. World competition. So Arnold and Sergio would actually clash prior to the 1970 Mr. Olympia at this 1970 Mr. World. Um, now, this 1970 Mr. World is not to be confused with the IFBB Mr. World, which was won by Dave Draper. This was the AAU Professional Mr. World Division. So this was a completely different organization than the IFBB, which is important to remember that in 1971 at the Olympia was the year that Joe Weider said IFBB bodybuilders cannot compete in other organizations, only in the IFBB. Um, and some people say this you know, clash of Arnold and Sergio was one of the reasons why um, Joe Weider made this rule because he didn't want a Mr. Olympia being defeated outside of the Mr. Olympia competition in someone else's organization, um, which would obviously draw a lot of attention to that organization. So that is exactly what happened at the 1970 Mr. World in Columbus, Ohio. Arnold Schwarzenegger came in and won the tall pro division, defeating Sergio Oliva outside of the Mr. Olympia at the age of 22 years old which really shook up the bodybuilding world that three-time Mr. Olympia Sergio Oliva, who was going for his fourth title at the 1970 Mr. Olympia, was defeated outside of the Olympia competition by this young up-and-comer Arnold Schwarzenegger. So another fun fact about this uh, 1970 Mr. World was that Franco Colombo, Arnold's good buddy, also competed there, and he won the professional short division. So Arnold and Franco both won the Mr. World that year, just in two different divisions. Um, and another interesting fact is that Mr. World was held in Veterans Memorial Auditorium in Columbus, Ohio, which is where Arnold Schwarzenegger would hold the Arnold Classic um, for the next 25 years, I believe, until they changed venues recently um, a couple of years ago. But the Arnold Classic bodybuilding competition was held in Veterans Memorial, that very same auditorium, for many, many years in the future. So the 1970 Mr. Olympia comes around. It was held in New York in Town Hall. Um, there were three competitors at the 1970 Mr. Olympia. So keep in mind, back at this time, there weren't really that deep of lineups at the Olympia. So you had Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sergio Oliva, and Reg Lewis. So Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sergio Oliva were pretty much in a league of their own compared to Reg Lewis. He wasn't a bad bodybuilder, um, but he was by no means up to the same standards of Arnold and Sergio. So the 1970 Mr. Olympia was historic for a number of reasons, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Number one, um, you had three-time Mr. Olympia, Sergio Oliva, defeated, loses the title. Um, and keep in mind at this time, Sergio Oliva was the winningest Mr. Olympia ever um, because at this point, you only had Larry Scott, who won two, and then Sergio, who won three, now defeated by Arnold, winning his first Mr. Olympia, who would go on to win seven Mr. Olympias um, and become the new winningest Mr. Olympia ever. And yes, winningest is a word. People always ask me that in the comment sections. Expand your vocabulary, boys. So in addition to winning his first of seven Mr. Olympias in 1970, in 1970, Arnold also made bodybuilding history by becoming the youngest Mr. Olympia to ever win the Olympia at the age of 23 years old, which is a title he still holds to this day um, as being the youngest Mr. Olympia ever, which is fascinating because in 2018, we just had Sean Roden become the oldest Mr. Olympia ever. Um, and back in 1970, we had Arnold become the youngest. Now, just like some other Mr. Olympias that Arnold Schwarzenegger has competed in, the 1970 Mr. Olympia was not without controversy. There's even multiple articles and even memes of this, um, this little controversy all over the internet. So in 1970, there was an incident where people suggest that Arnold Schwarzenegger cheated to win. 
So basically what they're saying here is in the final decision and the final pose down, the judges could not make a decision between Arnold and Sergio. Um, so Sergio Oliva uh, decided to walk off because he was exhausted. So Arnold and Sergio agreed they were both going to walk off. So when Sergio left, Arnold stayed on stage and continued to pose and then supposedly proceeded to mock Sergio and make fun of him for leaving early, um, continued to pose and then won the show. So personally, I think this was just Arnold being Arnold and having a little bit of fun here. I don't think you could consider this cheating to win. Um, and I think Arnold would have won this competition either way. But that is the story of Arnold's first Olympia win and the events leading up to 